In the height of summer fishing, R3 coordinator Kayla Bendel shares a south of the border inspired recipe to utilize some of North Dakota's popular game fish. I'm Mike Anderson with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. So for today's recipe, we're gonna make grilled fish tacos. So you're going to need some fish fillets of your choice. Really any freshwater fish here in North Dakota will work. We're going to be using channel catfish, but you could also use walleye, northern pike, bluegill, perch. For catfish or walleye, I'd recommend about two fish or four fillets. If you're using northern pike, you could probably get away with one fish depending on the size. And for your perch or bluegill, maybe you're gonna want three or four fish. We're going to marinate it in some lime juice and olive oil. Then we're gonna put it on the grill and then top it with a pico de gallo with Roma tomatoes, red onion, lime juice, and cilantro, and then kind of make a creamy fish taco sauce to drizzle over top. So your first step after thawing your fillets is going to be to marinate them. You're gonna to wanna to let them sit in the marinade for at least 30 minutes, but if you wanna do this overnight or during the day while you're gone at work, that's okay too. The marinade is pretty simple. It's just two tablespoons of lime juice, two tablespoons of olive oil, a tablespoon of chili pepper, and then a teaspoon of garlic salt. Once you're ready to put these on the grill, we're gonna just place them in some tin foil. If you were working with a fish like halibut, you could place them right on the grill, but most of our North Dakota freshwater fish are gonna just crumble and stick to the grill, so I really recommend using tin foil. We are gonna flip them halfway through, so just make sure that you got your foil sealed really well so nothing drips out uh, into your grill. We're just gonna place these fillets on the grill on medium heat for about 10 to 12 minutes and we are gonna flip them halfway through. So to top on our fish tacos, we're gonna make a simple pico de gallo using two Roma tomatoes diced, half cup of red onion diced, a teaspoon of lime juice, and then a tablespoon of cilantro. In addition to the pico de gallo, we're also gonna top it with some red cabbage. So just dice up about half a cup to a cup of red cabbage. Then we're gonna make the lime cream taco sauce. So we're gonna use a half cup of sour cream, third cup of mayo, two tablespoons of lime juice, a teaspoon of sriracha or hot sauce, and then a teaspoon of garlic powder. So the final step is just gonna be putting it all together. So I'm just gonna heat up these corn tortillas on the stovetop for a couple seconds on each side and then top everything. 